It's a simple truth. People are different. Throughout history, these differences have been a source of community strength and personal identity. They've also been the basis for discrimination and oppression. The idea of race has been used historically to describe these differences and justify mistreatment of people and even genocide. Today, contemporary scientific understanding of human variation is beginning to challenge racial differences and to even question the very concept of race. Race, are we so different? Developed by the American Anthropological Association in collaboration with the Science Museum of Minnesota, is the first national exhibition to tell the stories of race from the biological, cultural, and historical points of view. Combining these perspectives offers an unprecedented look at race and racism in the United States. Race is a powerful exhibit experience, no matter what your color or background. Race will give you an opportunity to explore yourself and how you see others. All of our lives are affected by race and racism in both overt and subtle ways. This photo from the race exhibit features college students demonstrating how racial census categories have changed throughout American history. A resource center at the heart of the exhibit welcomes small children with books, games, and other activities. Here, a family discovers that assumptions can be misleading as they listen to voices and try to match them with pictures of the speakers. Videos throughout the exhibit present personal stories and challenge visitors to consider new perspectives on race. Stacks of money serve as powerful emblems of the economic iniquity found in the United States. Throughout race, components like this draw visitors into conversations that connect their personal experiences with ideas encountered in the exhibition. What are you? asks artist Kip Fulbeck in his photographic installation, The Hapa Project. As they encounter a multiplicity of answers, visitors reflect on the contrast between conceptions of race and the fluidity of personal identity. Well, I think it's important for a couple reasons. I think that it provides the, the community with some really important content that has not been talked about as often as it probably should have been. I think it also will provide the community with a platform for organizations, schools, families to have conversations about the important issues of race and how it, it fits in our own community. So I think it provides both of those things for our community. Well, we've already engaged the community, so we have a community committee that's helping us really think about what the exhibit could be while it's here. How do we engage the broadest range of the community in the exhibit? We um, are having them help us think about how they want to use the exhibit, so how they can personalize it for their own institutions and how they can personalize it for their own families that they serve. And so we're already engaging them, and we're very excited about that. So we have workshops planned for toddlers, preschoolers, school age, homeschool families. Um, we have a Girls Discover genetics program that we're planning. And then toward the end of the exhibit, our friends at Abercrombie are going to help bring in Cornell West, who will talk about, among other things, his book Race Matters in a public uh, lecture. It was important to Nationwide to take a leadership position here at COSI with the race exhibit for a number of reasons. First of all, we're longtime supporters of COSI. Second of all, we'd had exposure to this particular exhibit when it was um, taken to Des Moines, Iowa. We saw the impact that it had there and participated heavily in bringing our associates to the exhibit so they could experience it. In Iowa, we had a few of our leaders who were particularly interested in um, leveraging that exhibit and so we worked together to design facilitated discussion post the experience. So leaders and their teams came over toward the exhibit, had an opportunity for personal reflection, and then came back to the office to have dialogue about what it meant to them 
personally, what it meant to them professionally, and then how they see it impacting the communities in which we work and live. The exhibit here at COSI for us is a big deal at Abercrombie, not only because it allows our associates to get involved, but hopefully because it allows the city during a very, very significant time in its history, in its birthday year, to really talk about the issue that has been, what I believe, a foundational aspect of the city growth. So what I'm hopeful that will happen is that people will see it, people will come back many times and really take it in. And that they'll also come at the end when Dr. Cornell West speaks and wraps it up with a great keynote address around race and culture and ethnicity. At Abercrombie, one of our drivers around diversity and inclusion is this whole issue around employee engagement. We believe that this external event, this partnership opportunity at COSI will allow the employees to be more engaged, not only with the conversation, but also with the community uh, that surrounds us. Well, I think this is a great opportunity for the business community, for schools, for um, social service agencies to come in and use the exhibit as a platform for their own discussions about diversity and inclusion in our city. And it's a great time and place for them to bring meetings in, to have um, evening events, to allow families from their companies and their businesses to come in and have spend some time in the exhibit. So really, it's endless the ways that they could use it and we're happy to have that discussion with them. We really have an influence on how diversity lives and how inclusion is created in the city of Columbus. And for us to take an active role in the COSI exhibit, bringing our associates, helping to sponsor students from our local schools to have this experience, I think is, is really our obligation and our opportunity. I'm excited about the exhibit. I think it presents great possibilities. And I hope that we, and expect, because I know the nature of Columbus, that we'll see companies across the city not only companies, but nonprofits and our school system get very engaged because this is a topic that matters in Columbus, that we care about, and our diversity is a source of our pride. And so I suspect we'll see a lot of engagement in this exhibit. We're hopeful that the community at large, but also the corporate community, the business community throughout the Columbus area will be engaged in this conversation around race. What we believe that is important is opportunities like this don't come that often. So quite frankly, when the corporate community has an opportunity to step up and be a part of it and to embrace this dialogue, to really get their associates engaged, but also their customers, people who are internal, external customers, that they see their brand associated with it, hopefully they'll get a better idea of what their commitment really is. So for us at Abercrombie, this was a, a big deal to make sure that our brand is not only a part of it, but significantly a part of it. COSI is proud to host the race exhibition in Columbus. COSI will always be a place for fun, hands-on learning, but it's also a place to think about and talk about important topics, including race. We hope that the race exhibition will support the important conversations about race that are already occurring in our community. We invite you and your organization to be a part of this important conversation.